All right, let's get started. Welcome back. And we're gonna start off with a nice wide stance here. Interlock your fingers. And we're just gonna push our palms up as high as we can get them. Just like that. Getting nice and tall. Tailbone is tucked. Good. Trying to flank the ears with your biceps. And we're just gonna lean to the right here. Good. Feel that side stretching, elongating. Let's go up and over to the other side. Good, just tipping over as far as you can. Good, really pushing the palms away. Feel your heels on the floor. Good, stand up nice and tall. Look up at your hands. Press your hip forward, squeeze your butt, lean back. Good, and then stand tall, unlock the hands. Hinge at your hip and fold forward. Good, make sure the legs here are nice and straight. So push the knees back. Feel that stretch through the hamstrings. A little bit through the lower back. You can let your neck go, let your neck release. Good, you can take your right hand, reach toward your left foot, and then left hand toward the right foot. And we'll just a little swing back and forth as we're reaching for that opposite foot. Good. And give me a couple more here. Uh, pop, pop, good. And just let the torso hang down the middle. Place your fingertips on the floor, and let's walk the feet in to about hip distance, and then we're just gonna drop into that nice deep squat. Make sure the hips are down, the chest is up, the heels are down. If you need to, widen your stance for that, but really try to work those heels down as best as you can. Press your knees out with your elbows. Good. Lifting through your chest, breathing. Grab your right ankle with your left hand and then reach your right arm up to the sky. And you can press inside this left leg to get a little extra reach here, a little extra rotation. Breathing into it. Good, and let's switch sides right here. Reach it up nice and high. Good, and then we're gonna press both elbows back inside the knees, hands to the floor, lean forward, pushing the knees out just a little further. Good, and let's rock back to the heels. And then from here, we're gonna straighten the legs as you drop your head, getting that one little last stretch on the hamstrings. And then from there, we're gonna do a slight bend to the knee. We're gonna curl the spine as we roll up one vertebrae at a time. Excellent, let's get some shoulder rolls going. Up, back, down, and forward. And we're just gonna be here for a few one way. Breathing into it, and let's go a few the other way. Good, connecting our breath to the movement. Breathing, good. And let's go ahead and put your hands on your hips, your chin to your chest. Roll the neck around. Just wanna make sure the neck is loose. A few times one way, and then switch it for a few. Real easy. And looking straight ahead, let's extend both arms out to the side. Let's get some little circles going here. Just little circles for a few. And then we're gonna progressively make those circles larger. Yeah, and they get bigger and bigger until they're as big as you can make them. Yeah, feel it opening up through the chest. Good, and then reverse direction. Swing the arms back as far as you can. And then we're gonna slowly make those circles smaller and smaller until we're back where we started and we're going the opposite direction. Let's hold this here, keep the circles going. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, just some chops right here. Chopping the arms back, breathing into it. Good, and let's go with just some rotations from side to side. Just swinging the arms, pivoting on the opposite heel and letting that hip turn from one side to the other side. Good, let's take this to the hips now. So now we're gonna bend the right knee and we're gonna reach it out to the side and the left knee reaches out and right knee out, left knee out. Just keep that going. A few more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it right into some jumping jacks. Tap the fingers, slap the thighs. Breathe into it, good. Give me five more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend the arms out in front of your chest. Just continue right on through to some seal jacks. Good. Give me about five more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and time. So today is gonna to be a glute focus and core focus. It's gonna be a total body. Ultimately, you guys know the deal here. But yes, we are gonna focus in on the glutes and the core. So that being said, Come on down to your hands and knees. Good, make sure the knees are under the hips, hands are under the shoulders. This right knee, we're gonna keep the knee bent to 90 degrees. And we're gonna kick the heel up to the ceiling. 
We're gonna go 10 reps, so just follow along with me. Here we go, right leg, we kick up. One, squeeze your glute at the top. Two, three, four, breathing into it. Five, six, seven, really feel that glute engaging. Nine, and now hold here, straighten your leg, tap the floor, and then lift up as high as you can 10 times. That's two, three, four, come on. Five, six, seven, keep it going, eight, nine, and then hold, top here, and then give me 10 pulses, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach the leg straight out to the side, as far as you can get it. And then I want you to lift your foot up as high as you can, keeping the leg extended out to the side. Give me 10, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Drop back into a quick child pose. I'm gonna switch direction here to do the other side. Just to stretch out that glute. And let's do the other side. Same thing, follow along with me. Here we go, keep that left knee bent to 90 and kick the heel up for one. Give me 10, two, three, come on. Four, five, six, seven, really driving through that heel. Nine and 10, good, let's straighten the leg. Tap the floor and lift high. Two, three, four, five. Keep it going. Six, seven, nine. Hold it up there. Give me 10 pulses. Go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach that leg out to the side. Toe to the floor. Lift up as high as you can. Go. 10. Got one, two, three. Four, five, there's that burn. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. One more time, let's sit back into a child pose. Whew. And then we're gonna come up to standing. So that was a nice little extended warm up. So first out of the gate, we're gonna do some high intensity intervals. We're gonna do some Tabata. So that's 20, or sorry, um, yeah, 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. And we're gonna switch between two exercises. We're gonna go four each exercise in that 2010 protocol uh, for a total of eight sets. So first exercise, these are both really simple exercises. In fact, we have done this before. So we're gonna go body weight squats, just that easy. With your squat, let the knee track toward the second toe of each foot. Sink your hip down as far as you can. What we don't want is something that looks like this where we're folding at the hip and just leaning forward. We don't want this to be the bottom of the squat. That's more of a hinge at the hip. We wanna get the knees involved. We want this to be the bottom of the squat, okay? Or as low as you can go in that movement pattern. From there, we're gonna go into jumping squats. So we'll start at a low squat position. We're gonna jump and land as we just chop the hands back. The thing about jumping is just make sure you land nice and light. All right, so like I said, we're gonna go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna go eight total rounds, four each, starting with our squats. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, body weight squats, let's go. Right here, and we're just here for 20 seconds. Feel the heels on the ground. Feel like you're grabbing the floor with the bottom of your foot. You should feel the ball of the foot, the heel, big toes, everything's on the ground. Real simple here reaching your arms out in front of you at the bottom and time. Gives you a 20 second break and then we're gonna jump. Remember, land lightly. Here we go. Start in this position, land back in this position. Right, let those knees absorb the shock. Chopping the arms back helps to get you out of that low position. And you're just pushing the floor away as you swing those arms back. Three, two, one, time. It's that easy. It's just that easy. We're back to our body weight squats. Keep breathing in the nose, out the mouth. Three, two, one. Let's go right here. Yeah, there's the heart rate. Good. Think of the hip driving forward as you come out of that low position. 
We don't want to over arch, obviously, but that forward drive of the hips, pushing the floor away. Three, two, one, time. Shake them out. Get ready for jumping squats. Now, if the jumping is not working, just rise up to the balls of your feet like this. Down, ha, and down. Otherwise, we're right here. Keep your chest up, proud chest. Swinging those arms back. If you need to, just rise up to the balls of the feet. Three, Keep it going. Three, two, one. That's time. Good. We are halfway through this Tabata series. Big breaths. Back to our bodyweight squats. Let's go. Right here. Good. Again, heels are down, chest is up, it's present. Feel the whole foot on the ground. Three, two, one. That's time. 10 seconds and we go back to our jumping squats. Three, two, one. Let's go right here. Chop those hands back. Push the floor away. Land lightly. Nice and easy on that landing. Good, push the floor. Come on. Three, two, one, time. All right, we got one more of each. Woo, happy Tuesday. Let's go, drop it down. Good. If you have a mirror in front of you and you notice that your knees collapse a little bit, then feel like you're pushing the knees out slightly as you drop down. It's one of the biggest issues that I see is this sort of collapsing of the knees, a valgus of the knees. So feel that in the mirror, try to work against that. All right, here we are. Last set of our jump squats. And then we're gonna move on. Here we go. Push, land light. Grab that floor with the feet. Come on. You got less than 10 seconds. Keep with it. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, you have earned a break. Grab a sip of water. I'm gonna do the same. We're gonna move on. All right, next, we're gonna do four exercises. Each exercise is going to go 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And we're gonna do these four exercises three rounds. So you get a little bit of a breather while I go over these, or you can just simply work along with my demo. So first thing out of the gate, this is a bit of a complex exercise. There's a lot going on here. So I'll do my best to be nice and quick and efficient about the explanation. You're gonna hold the dumbbell in your left hand or a dumbbell. You're gonna step back on your right knee, okay? Opposite sides. As you do, you're gonna press that dumbbell overhead. You're gonna take this free hand, this right hand, you're gonna push your hip away as you tap the floor. From my hand on the floor to my hand with the dumbbell, I need a straight line. You're gonna press back up here, boom, bring it back to the shoulder and lunge forward. The whole thing looks like this. We go here, 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 and back. You want more intensity? Of course you do. Here's the more intense way. Go here, here, keep this arm extended, step forward, and then bring it back to your shoulder. Either way, that's gonna be 20 seconds on each side. Then, you're gonna grab a matching set of dumbbells. You're gonna come down to the floor, and we're gonna go into a hip bridge position, and we're gonna chest press. But here's how I like you to do it. Hip bridge just means your glutes are engaged. You got a straight line from the knee to the shoulder, holding both dumbbells over the shoulder. Keep one arm up as the other one does a full rep. And then we just switch sides. So we got this isometric hold happening on one arm as the other arm is doing our full rep, okay? That's gonna be 40 seconds. That's a lot of time here. Right, so it's gonna really get your glutes going and get your upper body going. Then, with just one dumbbell, 
We're going back to the glutes. We're going to step out, side lunge, push your booty back. Curtsy lunge, make sure this back foot here gets behind and to the side of the front foot and tap the knee. And we just repeat that for 20 seconds. Side lunge into a curtsy lunge, 20 seconds each side. Lastly, we're going to hit the core. We've done this before too. We're going to put our hands up in our boxer guard and we're going to press up into a sit up. We're going to rotate for a one, two, one, two and roll back down. Come up four punches, one, two and back down. Now look, when you're throwing these punches, make sure you get the arm to the outside of the opposite knee. Okay. So we're getting that rotation. That's what we're looking for. All right, enough talking. Let's get to doing four exercises, three rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, starting with our reverse lunge, side bend, press combo. Here we go. Five, left arm, four, three, step back on the right leg. Push that dumbbell overhead, tap. You can bring it back down and stand. Or here, tap, keep that extension, step into it. You decide which version is gonna work best for you, right? Pop it up, hit the mat, bring it down, switch hands, right to it, let's go. Push it up, tap, good, you can keep that arm extended, or here, bring it to the shoulder to step forward, boom. My flexibility on this right shoulder isn't the greatest, so I'm bringing it to my shoulder at the top. Time, 15 second break, we're going floor bridge, our floor press, with a hip bridge. Grab a matching set of dumbbells. Remember, we're gonna keep one arm holding in isolation while the other arm is working. Let's go, get those hips up. Right here, pump, bop. Good, now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can let the elbow go out to the side and back, or you can pull the elbow closer to the rib cage and up. Letting the elbow go out to the side it's going to be more tense on the shoulder. So if you have tight shoulders, keep the elbow closer to your rib cage. And plus that will give you more bicep tricep activation, you know, which we like. We spend a lot of time working on our chest. Sometimes we want to add that bicep tricep into the mix. Keep it going. Three, two, one, and that's your time. Great work. All right, we're going side lunge, curtsy lunge. Pop on up. This is a goblet style, so hold a goblet in front of your chest, just like so. Stepping out, right leg first. Step out, push your booty back. Boom, push off, and then curtsy lunge. Tap that knee. Push your booties back, push off, tap that back knee. Here we go, keep your chest up, and tap, pop. And tap, come on, give me one more here. And tap, let's switch sides, right to it. Remember, push your butt back. Get that back knee down. Push off, tap the floor. 10 seconds, come on. Give me one more. Three, two, one, and time. Boom, it's just that simple. Now we're gonna do a sit up with a one, two, one, two. A jab and a cross and a jab and a cross. Here we go. Three, two, one. Right here. Go. One, two, one, two, down. Remember, get that arm outside the knee. So we're getting that twist. We don't want to go down the middle like this, right? Twist it. And down. Come on. This is going to work your core. I'm sure you're feeling it already. Come on, yeah, this one's a tough one. You got 10 more seconds. You're also gonna feel this in your hips. Three, two, one, that's time. All right, just like that. Back to the top, grab that dumbbell. I'm gonna kick my weight up a little bit here. I'm feeling good. Left arm loaded, right leg working. Pop it up, drop it down, boom, tap the floor. Good, you can bring it back to your shoulder, step forward. Or, keep that arm extended, 
and step forward. Good, come on. Woo, a little extra weight makes all the difference. All right, let's switch sides, right to it, come on. Now make sure when you're doing that side bend, push your hip away, all right? What we don't wanna do is fall over, fall to it now. Come on, three, two, one, time. Just that easy. So simple. All right. We're back to our bridging with our press and our isolation holes. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Again, you're connecting your breath to the movement and you're engaging your glutes. We don't want to hyperextend through the hips, right? We want a nice straight line from the knees to the shoulders. Hey, you want to get a little more calf activation? Rise up to the balls of the feet. Ooh, there you go. Come on. Yeah, we still got about 10 more seconds. Keep working it. Come on, three, two, one. That's time. Excellent work. All right, we're back to our side lunge, curtsy lunge combo. Keep your dumbbells ready. One up. We go out to the side. Boom, push your butt back. And we go side. Boom, curtsy that is. Snap that hip forward. Drop that knee down, staying tall. Push your butt back. Drive the hip forward. Stay tall. Tap that back knee. Come on. One more this side. Let's go here and switch it right away. Right away. Let's go. Push your booty out. Come on. Now when you're doing the side lunge, you should feel your core working, especially coming out of that low position. That movement there, can be tough on your back. Time. All right, we are back to our sit up with our one, two, one, two combo. Woo, getting it done. Here we go. Let's roll up, boom. Jab, cross, jab, cross, and down. Now you wanna be super awesome. Of course, who doesn't? If you got a set of nice light dumbbells, like ones or twos, hold them. Add a little resistance to it. I don't have that option. Lightest dumbbell is five pounds, and that's just a little too heavy. But if you got something light, ones, twos, maybe threes, grab them. But you're probably getting plenty out of this. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right. That was two down. We're going to go one more round. One more time. Let's get our dumbbell ready. Load up. Stepping back, right leg, left arm loaded. Let's go. Push it up. Tap that floor. Good. A little oblique work in there. A little core and lower body. Why not? Now when you're doing that side bend, get your palm down to the floor. Switch arms instead of just the fingertips. We don't want that. Then and up. All the way down. Don't cheat yourself. No, no. Down. Come on. Three, two, one, time. Back to our floor press. About five seconds, let's load them up. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Come on, right here. Wanna be extra special? Balance on one leg. Uh oh, oh man. <laughs> Switch legs if you're on one. Come on. Breathe. Keep that glute engaged. Woo, long 40 seconds. 
Man, we still got like five seconds to go. Come on. Three, two, one, and time. All right, all right. Side lunge, curtsy lunge combo. Here we go. Three, I'm gonna start on the left side this time. I feel like the left side's not getting its full due. Right here. Push your butt out. Snap that hip forward. Drop the knee down. Keeping those shoulders squared up. Chest is up. Breathing. Don't forget that all important breathing switch sides. Let's go. You got like 10 more seconds. Oh man. Come on. Three, two, one, done. And finally, our last set of our sit up with our jab cross, jab cross combo. Here we go. Hands are up. Let's do it, roll down. Come up, one, two, one, two. Ba, 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 ba. Sound effects are recommended. Come on. Let's go. You got 20 more seconds. Oh man. Yeah. We attack the core. Core doesn't stand a chance. Come on. You got five more seconds. Three, two, one. Done. Done. Just like the man said. Excellent work. That calls for a sip of water. All right. So I got four more exercises for you. We're going to run the same style. 40 on, 15 off. Four more exercises. So let me go over those real quick. So for this first one, you're going to need a matching set of dumbbells. And now we're going to do a clean. And what a clean is, it's a hip drive. And basically you're just snapping the dumbbells up to your shoulder. It's not a curl. The momentum comes from the hips. So you want to reach your butt back, reach your arms back, and as you snap the hip forward, use that momentum, flip the dumbbells up and get under them and catch them. Cleaning is catching dumbbells, to put it simply. So from the clean, we're gonna do two forward lunges. One, two, and then we're gonna do three curls. What? One, two, three, then we go back down and we clean. Forward lunge, three curls. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two. So we're still gonna stay with a combo upper body, lower body. I got the dumbbell in my right hand. I'm gonna step back on my right leg and I'm gonna tip forward. Bang. I'm gonna perform one row. Step forward, switch hands. Step back on the left leg, one row. Switch, step back, row. Switch, step back, row. So what we're getting is this sort of like a deadlift, this reaching back of the hip and this driving forward of the hip, and we're getting a row at the same time. It's a glorious exercise. All right, and then finally, not finally, sorry, third exercise. Both dumbbells are now in front of your thighs. Keep the dumbbells close to your legs. Knees are gonna be soft, so they're not locked back, but they don't bend forward. They're right in between. You're just gonna reach your butt back until you feel that stretch in your hamstrings and then drive your hip forward, don't over arch at the top. Romanian deadlifts, you know them, you love them, we do them all the time. Because, why? Because they're awesome. Then lastly, we're gonna do this guy. This one's tough, especially for 40 seconds. We're gonna go four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. We're up, up, and four sprinter um, run in place. One, two, three, four. Step back, one, two, three, four. Step up, one, two, three, four. Real simple, but challenging. So nice and highly effective. All right, enough talking, let's get to doing. Clean forward lunge, three curls. Follow along with me. Get ready, grab those dumbbells. Three, two, one. Go, we clean it. We catch, right? We step forward, tap, 
Step forward. Tap three curls. Hammer curls. One, two, three, and then a clean. Bop. Forward lunge. Tap that back knee. Tap that back knee. Give me those curls. One, two, three. Now clean it. Catch. Forward lunge. Forward lunge. Three curls. Oh man. Gun City. Three, get that clean. Bop. Forward lunge. Forward lunge, three curls. Three, two, one, time. Woo! That one does the trick. All right, we're gonna do our step back, row, and switch. Right arm loaded. Step back, right leg. One row. Bang, step forward, switch hands. Step back, row. Switch. Back stays flat the whole time. Think of the hip drives back, the hip comes forward. So it's like a deadlift. Yep. Come on. So we're getting our glutes here. Get little biceps. Some lats working. Lots going on. Some core. 10 more seconds. It's a sneaky exercise here. Nice straight line from the heel to the shoulder. And time. Whew. We have our Romanian deadlifts coming up. Grab your two dumbbells. Keep the dumbbells close to your legs. Reach your hips back. Soft knees. Go right here. Go as low as you need to to feel that stretch. Drive up, squeeze. Feel that stretch. Squeeze. And you should feel that stretch in your hamstrings and glutes. We're also working your back here. So, real good posterior exercise. Good, we got 20 more seconds. Come on. One way to make sure your back stays flat is just keep the shoulder blades engaged. When we do this, we're round. We're here, we're not rounded. Right? Five, four, three, two, one. Now we have our mountain climber sprinter combo. This one's tough. Hang in there. Break along the way if you need to. Start down in a plank. Three, two, one. We go. One, two, three, four. Step up. And we go one, two, three, four. Back down. We go one. And then we go one, two, three, four. Yep. Good. Oh, yeah. I told you this one was tough. When you're doing those, run in place. Get those knees up. Swing the arms. 10 seconds. Oh, man. Three, two, two, one. Rest. Shoo. All right. That was one down. Oh, man. Let's do this again. Grab those dumbbells. Clean, forward lunge, curls. Let's go. Clean it. Bah. Two forward lunge. Back. Knee taps. Back. Knee taps. And then we go. Three, two, one. And clean. Two forward lunges. And then we go. One, two, three. Then we clean. Forward lunge. Yep. Stay tall on these curls. Two, three, we clean. Notice the curls, just my elbow is working. But when I get into that clean, I drive my hips. Time. Whew. All right, we got our step back. Row and switcheroo. Here we go. Right arm loaded. Step back on your right leg. Pull to the hip. Step forward, switch arms. Boom. Pull to the pocket. Whew. Right to the pocket. Bang. Whew. Come on. Whew. Whew. Good. Yeah, you want that L shape at the arm. Boom. What we don't want is this. We don't want that. Pull back. Get those lats working. 
Come on. You're good, you got this. Three, two, one. Woo. All right, we got our Romanian deadlifts coming up. Nothing lacking in this workout, that's for sure. Here we go. Push your booty back. Feel those hamstrings working. Take your time down, come up quick. Remember, we don't want to over arch at the top, right? So just squeeze your booty and stand tall. Boom. Get that little squeeze on the glutes. That tells your brain, that's the muscle we're working. Remember, back stays nice and flat. Shoulder blades are engaged. Connect your breath. Work for that stretch. Three, two, one. Rest. Four mountain climbers, four sprints. Oh man. Yep. Here we go. Three, two, one. Plank. Go. One, two, three, four. Step forward. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Back down. One, two, three, four. Step up. One, two, three, four. Back down. Pump those knees. Good. And then pump the knees. Bang, 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 bang. Back down. Good. High knees. Those knees up. Come on. I know it's hard. I'm right here with you. If I can do it, so Three, can you. Two, and time. Good. Let's do it again. Another round. Here we go. Clean. Lunge. Curl. Go. Hips. Right. Boom. Catch. Step it back. Tap the knee. Step it forward. Tap the knee. Just the elbows working here. Boom. Two. One, and now the hip. Get under it, catch it. Forward, tap the back knee. Tap the back knee, give me those curls. Stay tall, you're still working your core here. And clean. Boom. Tap it. Tap it. Curls, come on. Two, one, let's go. Clean, forward lunge. Get those forward lunges saved by the bell. Time. Man. <laughs> All right, we're doing our step back row and switch. Here we go. Let's go. Step it back, pull the pocket. Step forward, switch arms. Breathe. Keep those lungs working. Keep your mind focused. Focus on the muscles that are working. How's your body moving in space? Take your time with it. 10 seconds. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. We got our Romanian deadlifts. Ready? Get for that stretch, let's go. Push your booty back. It's like you're pushing a drawer in with your butt. Keep the back flat. Squeeze it at the top. Nice flat back. Good. Long it through the back of the legs. Squeeze. Come on. We've got 20 more seconds. Let's go. Keep working it. 10 more seconds. Keep that back flat. Don't need to go all the way to the floor. Just go low enough to feel that stretch and time. All right. We got our last set of our mountain climber sprinters. And then we're gonna attack the core one more time. Plank position. 
go. One, two, three, four. Step up, and we go. One, two, three, four. Step back down, and we go. Right, step up. I know, we're working the legs here too, sneaky. Good, up, high knees. Woo, step it down. Come on, up, yep, back down. We got about 10 seconds. I know, man, I'm right there with you. This exercise is kicking my butt. Come on, and time. All right, sip of water, mandatory. All right. One more Tabata round for you. 20 on, 10 off, eight rounds, two exercises. You know the deal. First one is just gonna be a twisting jump. Kind of fun, just like it sounds. You're gonna twist your hips from one side to the other side. Keep the shoulders squared up. Twisting and twisting as you bounce. It's just that easy. Finally, we're gonna come down. You're gonna lean back, feet off the ground. We're gonna roll the feet in one direction for 10 seconds and then roll in the other direction for 10 seconds. That's, that's what we're doing, that's it. All right, so let's get to it, here we go. Five, four, twist those hips. Go, twist it. And what we're doing here, we're up on the bounce here, so we're getting those calves working, but those obliques are firing away. Seems simple, and it is, but effective at the same time. Three, two, one, time. It may look a little silly, but you know, that's okay. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. That takes courage, right? Here we go, rolling. Breathe here, big full circles, and then switch direction, think of scooping your feet. And this one, inevitably, is just gonna be so much harder because you get those hip flexors working now. Three, two, one, time, just like that. Three more rounds. Get ready. Three, two, twist it. Here we go. Just let the arms swing in opposition to the hips. Breathing. Really work to get those hips as far around as you can. Come on. And time. Back down. Three, two, one, right here. Yep, just like that. Your back can be a little rounded here, it's fine. If you're not lifting weight, the back is cool. If it's not under a load, switch direction. I'm talking too much now. <laughs> one and time. That was halfway. Get ready, three, two, one. Let's go, twist it. It's tall. Turn those feet around. Breathe. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Time. We're back down for our bicycles. Three, two, one, right here, go. Breathe. Good. Switch direction. Those big circles. Come on. And time. All right, everybody, we got one more round. One more of each. We'll do a quick cool down. And I'll get you out of here. Let's turn those hips. Come on, right here. Stay tall. Five seconds. Four, three, 
and time. All right. Here we go. Last 10, or last 20 seconds. Right here, come on. Keep it focused in. Keep that breath. Switch direction. Come on. Three, two, one. Rest. Done. All right, let's slow roll back. Lie down, extend your left leg out. Bend your right knee, grab the right knee. Pull it over to the left. Reach your right arm out to the side and then look at your right hand. Or let your eye line follow it. Great job today. Let's switch sides. Breathe. Feels so good after workout. Good. And let's grab the balls of the feet. Let's pull the knees down to either side of the torso. Little happy baby pose. We did a lot of lower body work today. Just want to make sure that your lower back is getting some love. Just do a little rock back and forth here. A little massage on the spine. Good. Excellent. Let's pop up. Let's flip over. Hands and knees. Real quick here, let's just go cat and cow. Push the middle of the back up toward the ceiling and exhale. Yeah. And then arch your back, look straight ahead. Inhale, inhale through the nose. And again, exhale, but exhale through the mouth. Clear all the air out of your lungs. And then inhale as deep as you can. And exhale. Good. And then go ahead and return your spine to neutral. Tuck your toes. Press your tailbone up. Push your chest down and back towards your feet. Try to get those heels to the floor. Good. Walk your hands back. Walk your feet in. And then roll it up. Pretty nice job today. Thank you so much for joining me.